Well, it is a rainy Valentine's Day out there. Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to be tracking rain through the rest of your afternoon, evening, and even into the overnight hours. Let's just take a look at how big this system is. Actually, wind advisories are around out in front of this system throughout all of Illinois, Missouri, Iowa. Uh, we, didn't, we don't have that here. However, it is still very breezy as we're tracking this larger system in there. But another thing to note is that we are staying on the warm side of this system, which means we are not going to be dealing with any uh, wintry weather until the next system comes. Of course, it's on a Thursday. What other day would it be on, right? Clouds and radar just showing that we are just seeing on and off light rain across the region. Some heavier rain that's starting to make its way into uh, towards Cuba City in Grant County there. Prairie du Chien seeing a little bit of that as well. Just moderate rain. So as you might be heading uh, home for those afternoon and evening commutes out for date night, just know that. Give yourself extra time with that rain. It's going to stick around through the afternoon and evening hours as we track it out. You'll also so notice those winds are picking up as that system moves on top of us. We're tracking about 35 mile per hour wind gusts out of the south, and that's actually going to keep us warm over the next couple of hours. We typically drop to a low temperature overnight. It's not going to happen this time. Temperatures are actually going to stay in the 40s all night long. By midnight, we're going to see this rain taper there. Now, our more, our more northern counties uh, near uh, Juneau, Adams counties, could see that rain linger for a little bit longer as this system is going to kind of stall to our north. That means also as temperatures drop into Wednesday more uh, through Wednesday, temperatures are going to drop through Wednesday tomorrow morning. If we can see those temperatures a little bit closer to freezing, maybe a few flurries up towards Camp Douglas, but uh, that would be it. We're all going to stay dry through Wednesday until our next winter system. Looks like it's going to be snow. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and take a look at this system. Now what we want uh, with systems like these, John always talks about this. We want this low pressure system to take uh, a, a track right through Chicago into Gary, Indiana. That's kind of what we want for a bigger snow event. That means we're on the cooler side of this system. Winds will be out of the north. We'll have a lot of cold air advection there, and that snow is going to be a factor. Now, the big, the big thing that's missing with this system, we have the cold air, but we don't have as much moisture. But if we get that moisture on in, on in there, uh, this could lead to some higher snow totals. Timing for this looks pretty similar to last week's where we're going to see it start in the morning, but then it picks up into late morning, late Thursday morning. Well, we'll see it taper on out of here by about midnight into Friday morning. So this will be a Thursday event yet again, and then we'll be dry but cooler as we end the week. Let's talk about totals though. It's still up in the air because we've been consistently seeing with this system a track further and further southeast and that's still expected. That trend could still slide further southeast. So what I can say now with confidence is I think Janesville is going to be the bullseye with this system. Madison though, a medium chance. We're still going to see some higher totals and a very low chance for uh, those high totals up towards uh, Camp Douglas, those Juneau and Adams counties there. For a chance for four plus inches of snow, yeah, pretty, pretty likely for Janesville. Ville, Monroe, uh, even Madison pretty high up there as well. So that's going to be the big question is where does Madison see that snow, uh, those snow totals right now, four to six inches, uh, very, very possible with this system in that bullseye. But of course, we're still watching uh, that shift there. Now, here's a look at your extended forecast. Those temperatures in the 40s dropping through tomorrow, 28 for Thursday, 24 on Friday. We're warm again into the weekend. Let's take a look at 